<laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody. We are here with the real 3DO. Uh, we've got a whole stack of games and we're playing them. This is Return Fire in Dolby Surround. It's funny the way you said that the real 3DO, because that's the way it was built. But it's a real 3DO. Right. Like it's actually in existence. <laughs> that's true. I didn't think about yeah. that. <laughs> when you said that, I was like, ah. This is a prolific game. That looks nothing like something that could be possibly copyright infringing. With the light bulb, the Death Star yeah. thing on it. Silent software. It's funny if this is the game I'm thinking of, because it's actually like an awesome soundtrack. Listen to that. Yeah. This makes you want to whoop something. Yeah. This is uh, Verity's Re Requiem. Did you know that? I know it's something. Yes. <laughs> I love it. That's the way you should start every game. That's Just true. some sort of fire, jump, and people screaming. Let's see. All right, you ready? Let's see what we can do here. I've got little experience with this, but I remember liking it, and I remember thinking the soundtrack was just super cool. Okay. Can you identify these countries, but I don't believe that those are actual countries. What? <laughs> what the heck? Let's go here. Ting, there's the bell. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's an interesting way to show the load screen. <laughs> Guy in an elevator. Can you put your mic farther up on your shirt? Absolutely. Look at this array of weaponry we have here. I believe they're playing Mars here. That's not right to you, bud. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what that is. So, the, you didn't see this on the screen, viewers, but this is actually, there was an EMI Classical logo on this, so I guess they, they, they got all their music from EMI Classical. Um, they made the right call there. Is oh, it, look at the, look at the, uh, yeah. That's right stuff, Kelly. It's interesting, the, um, the way that the camera is, how it zooms in and yeah, out. Yeah, that's really cool. It. This game actually had one port, I believe. I think it even had a sequel, but I don't, it wasn't on 3DS. You know what this reminds me of? Did you ever play the N64 game called Blast Core? I've heard of it. This sort of reminds me of that. This is changing perspective. It has like classic tank controls, by the way. Basically, the premise of this is go and destroy everything. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, this is uh, this is awesome music. You don't oh, get to yeah. hear Gustav Holst too much. And every every level has their own music. I didn't even notice the classical music marker up there, so that's actually pretty cool. We actually played this when I was in the band. It was, it was awesome. Oh yeah. We marched to it. Kick butt that year too. Watch this. <laughs> I mean, I don't condone it. But... Watch the way that stuff falls. I like that, the official human squishing sound there. Look at this, it's a whole troop of guys. Oh. Oh, you lucky dogs, I'm out of ammo. Time well, to I don't know how base. successful they're gonna be just swimming directly into the open sea. Well. I guess it means getting run over. What choice do you have? Yeah, you got that right. Now the cool thing about this game, as I recall, is you can, you get to pick, you can pick a different actual uh, vehicle. So let me try to negotiate this tree here. Here we go. The control, you know, every tank game, the controls take some getting used to, right? I mean, you have to. Right. Look at the scroll in that. Just, it's just glorious. This is what the 3D Ocean, been, this is a truly original game with a kick, with a kick butt soundtrack. This is what they should have been doing the whole time. Do you think that the, the failure of the 3DO was just that they were trying to put... Well, it was probably the expense of the console was probably the first thing, right? Yeah, it was expensive as heck. Listen. <laughs> yes! So what is the name of this tune? This is, the, this is from Apocalypse Now, right? Well, 
<laughs> it may be from Apocalypse Now, but do you know where it comes from originally? Let me see if I can figure out how to turn this thing around. I'll check it out, the shoulder button, dude. Okay. Is this Night on Bald Mountain? No. No, this is, uh, I know this song. Uh, shoot. I need somebody to shoot. Help me out here, Bo. This is Ride of the Valkyries. Ride of the Valkyries. That's, that's by Brian. Richard Wagner. This is uh, Brian Daniel's theme, Daniel Bryan's theme mm. as well. This is from the Ring Cycle of Operas. It's an opera that's 16 hours long. When you go to watch it, you go four consecutive nights for four hours apiece. Wow. Here we go. Time to die. You're not wreaking as much havoc with the helicopter. Well, I'm still learning your, your how to, how Havoc to is being me. wreaked upon you by that turret. Up along. Please dump this your, out. Your shocks look a little bit impotent. Now, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> you can, I mean, when this is, when this is music's oh, playing, yeah. it just makes you wish, This is the perfect tune. Yeah, this is great. Really, the road, like I said, the, the way they've got the render and everything, I mean, it really. I don't think I've played a game because we've played those Desert Strike games and stuff. Yeah, you can't this, compare that to this. No, but it, this is I've, this is like its own thing. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever. I was it. expecting it to be like Desert Strike or that other tank game that we played that was really really hard. Or oh maybe yeah, that, that one on the yeah. Um, but uh, this is much better. I think, they, I think we've thoroughly jacked up this bad guy. I don't know if he's got anything left out here to blow up. I'm going to head back to base and we'll give you your choice of vehicles, but you can go ahead and destroy some stuff. I'm wondering what, uh, I'll look up some 3DO information here. So yeah, this was released in 93, this, the, the system. And, uh, it's got a 32-bit RISC CPU. So it's like it's a, a, yeah, it's a good CPU. The successor to the Acorn Archimedes, practically. Look at that. Here you go, give this a whirl. <clears throat> Pick, try, I'll tell you, I recall that big gut thing with the gun is pretty good. The Jeep's fast. I don't even know what you did there. There you go. Let's see what this thing sounds. Yeah, that's it. Go a different way. There's some rockets. Some straight ahead rockets. No music here. Strange. I guess they're giving us a break. Maybe oh, I'm shoot. Go, 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 man. Go. Oh. Oh, man. Run away! Yeah, but now you're in. Those guns are worthless. Oh, boat. The hospital? Oh, yeah. I probably should hit the hospital. The controls... Are the controls? I guess you're right. They're 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 tank controls, so up is go. Yeah. Yeah. Bo doesn't believe in shooting from distance. No, I like to get right up on you. There's no score. It's just blow everything. The score up. is your country <laughs> uh, glory for your for your flag. This thing can take a ton of abuse too. It's yeah. tough. It's hard to tell if I'm hitting it. I guess it's easy to tell because it's not being destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what a cool game. This yes. is Seek and Destroy. We'll see you next time, guys. Adios. Adios.